Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your What's Cracking for Sunday, uh, Sunday the 19th of May. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I'm still so humbled by this whole deal. Um, so I hope that you know I, that you, the readings resonate with you. They won't all the time because they are a general read. So make sure you check out other aspects of your um, chart too when you're watching like the uh, weekly readings, for example. Um, if you don't know how to check out an astrological chart, you can go to Cafe Astrology and do your own birth chart there and it will show you other parts. So um, I'm a Capricorn with a Libra moon. So sometimes or most of the time my Libra moon is what um, resonates with me. I have Scorpio on the ascendant or rising. Um, Scorpio doesn't resonate with me all the time, although I have some distinct attributes of a Scorpio. Um, and then I have my um, Venus in Aquarius, and that does resonate a lot. So um, just, yeah, learn to learn to understand other aspects of your sign. I come up as a fire sign in readings, um, probably because of my nature, but more than likely because I have a lot of Sagittarius in my flow. So um, I always think that's really interesting too. So be as open-minded as you can about it. Um, sometimes I've watched a reading for someone else and found it's resonated with me strongly. So it just depends where you are on the day and what is sort of standing up most for you, where the moon and the planets are, those sort of things as well. All right, let's get on with you what's cracking. Alrighty, so we have the Hanged Man coming out here. I am using the Pagan Tarot here. So the Hanged Man talks about taking time to go inside to look at things from different perspectives. Now when I'm reading the Tarot and I show you the cards, I talk about them from the traditional viewpoint. What I bring in when I do the reading is the interpretations coming from spirit. So, um, but to help you out, I sort of go through the traditional meaning when I'm reading them like this and then I do the intuitive part so um, a lot of people have been saying to me that it's really easy to understand the cards and that's why they like watching me um, and a few people have said to me would I ever teach and I'm sure I will further down the track in fact I'm sure I'm meant to um, once I get a little bit further down the track but the balance now is getting the this business to a point where I can give up my day job <laughs> Anyway, so the hanged man talks about taking time out to look think from things from a different viewpoint. And um, I always talk about the fact that, you know, if you when you were a kid, you probably hung yourself upside down on the lounge or on a swing or something and looked at things quite differently. And they do look very different upside down, that's for sure. And um, behind that, we have the card of judgment. Now, judgment is about rebirth. It's about having a second chance at something, being risen from the dead, rising like the phoenix, all those sort of things. Um, this one's the card of the Four of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Pentacles comes up a lot, really, um, for a card. It's probably one of the cards that comes up quite frequently. Um, and it talks about hanging on to things, not being able to let go, especially with your money. Um, not letting your your energy flow like it should. You're blocking yourself. So when you hang on to things, um, for example, money, it doesn't um, it, it doesn't sort of flow like it should. Your energy doesn't flow. Um, sometimes this can just talk about en energy in general, though. And there's a page of pentacles coming out here, which is talking an of an offer coming in. Now, the Page of Pentacles, again, represents more tangible things like finances. I find this card comes out a lot when there's a return of karma or there's some sort of karmic event that your gift or something you're being offered to move you forward on your pathway. So we have you moving forward on your pathway through something that's offered to you. It can come through a gift or something more solid, but it can be a message um, to get you moving because at the moment you look like you're pretty stuck where you are. So the universe is trying to move you forward, trying to get you to understand the ebb and flow of energy. I find this card comes up a lot too when you are stuck after a relationship and finding it very difficult to move on. And what happens then is you stick your energy completely. 
So in the traditional tarot, you can see the coins are over the head, over the heart and under the feet, which means you're not grounded, your heart's blocked and your crown chakra's blocked. So the universe can't bring in the messages they need to. So the four of pentacles is very, very much about being stuck. But this gift you're receiving here is helping you to move forward because you're getting a second chance at something. So something you've wanted in the past, whatever that has to do with your life, this can just be about rebirth. So sometimes this is the sort of energy you would get after going through a tower. It's like bringing you into a new time where you can start again. So you have a chance to do something better this time than you did before. Can be love, can be a job, can just be life in general. A new start at things. A completely different way of looking at how you live your life. Okay, so we have the Ace of Cups coming in, which is absolutely beautiful after reading that, isn't it? Because that sort of talks about a new start in love. So the universe is trying to unblock you because you have a new chance at something to do with love coming in for you. But in order to accept this, you, do, you can't be stuck where you are. So if you're in the feeling of stuckness, then you need to work on that to move yourself forward. And that's where the lessons come in. That's where the understanding comes in. Because this is part of your divine pathway with the star here. The star talks about hope and faith and trust and about the universe putting you on the right path towards your destiny. The Six of Pentacles talks about equal give and take. So this is about understanding that a relationship goes both ways. It's not about you worshipping the other person. That's not how a relationship starts. Um, a relationship that starts with you worshipping the other person often ends up toxic because you end up putting all the energy in and they don't give you anything back. So you put someone on a pedestal thinking they're more important than you. And this is saying, no, the other person needs to be the same back towards you. This is conflict. So this is thinking about um, how that happens. What What is going on here with this? You're going, in, you're going into your head a little bit here to try and work out which way to move forward. Sometimes this can be conflict with other people too. It's a, definitely a, a card of um, being confused by the current energy. It's not really understanding the way you're moving forward. So you could be in conflict with someone that you're meant to be in love with. There is the card of victory here with the Six of Wands. That's about public recognition. Um, being recognised is a really big one. Okay, so we do have the Queen of Swords coming out here. So this is about speaking a truth, offering a truth, being forthright. Um, the Queen of Swords can represent Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it's a person that has really a, a, a very good acumen, a very good way of seeing the world, um, sometimes can have a great sense of humour, but this person is ready with their sword to cut someone out if they don't work with them, and also to speak very truthfully back to that person. So she's very articulate. She knows what she wants to say and she's going to say it. Okay, we have the Page of Cups coming in here. So this is the person that's going to offer something to you. This can be in the form of love, um, could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it's someone coming in to offer you love. But with the Two of Swords, you have a decision on whether to take this or move forward. You're not sure what way to go here. And we know that the person is blindfolded, so the decision is very difficult for them to make. Um, because they don't have all the information yet. Okay, Seven of Pentacles coming here. So it could have taken a long time. You could have planted the seeds for this a long time ago. You're waiting for something to grow or you've been waiting for something to come to fruition here. And the final card is the world. Now the world talks of closing out cycles, finishing things up. And I know that that's the case because of the cards you've got here. So if we go back to these again, you have the hanged man coming up, which asks you to look at things from a different perspective. You have a chance of doing something again. You have the four of pentacles, which of course talks about being stuck and an offer coming in here. And behind that, we have the six of cups. So it is an offer from your past. It is an offer from someone you've known before, someone that you uh, think about or you reminisce about or you have like nostalgic thoughts about. So it's definitely somebody here from your past. 
So if people are not um, wanting somebody from your past, you might consider that that card is representing then um, maybe working on your childhood issues, understanding your learnings from childhood um, and working on them here to close out this cycle. So it could be either way for many of you. The story here is about having an offer of love and it's more than likely coming from someone you've known before, um, someone you've thought about. You could have already had some sort of either relationship with them, maybe not romantic, but you may have had some sort of relationship with them in the past. This is part of your destiny. The universe has been teaching you about the equal give and take in relationships. So it looks to me like at times that's you found that really confusing. But if you fall in love with someone and you invest all your time and energy and you spend your time loving them and they're not reciprocating or the love is not given back, then the relationship can, can be very toxic. And I think this has been for a lot of people the learning that people have gone through on how not to have a toxic relationship. Now, there is a victory here. Um, but it is about you making a decision on whether you move forward with this or not. Because at the end of the day, this offer of this relationship is going to close out a cycle for you. So when I say that, if someone comes in that you didn't expect to see back, or someone comes in to offer you love that you didn't think loved you, or you didn't realise they love you, somehow or another... It's trying to heal something from your childhood that you've been unable to see or to let go. Um, it's sort of really, um, it, it is going to rebirth you in that regard. There is a return here. There is a chance to do things again because you're learning from this offer that something you've done in the past has been blocking you like that four of pentacles all your life from having what you wanted so this is about you gaining that understanding gaining that clarity there's confusion which is okay because it's hard it may be hard it's an epiphany it's like something you've not seen before something you've not known before but because of that you've understood manifestation you've understood love you've understood what you've done in the past with love and you're coming into this closing out of this cycle, this huge realisation that's taking you on a completely different pathway. And this is what you've been working on. So working on the childhood stuff, working all the stuff from the past. This is what you've been doing to get to this end of this cycle here. It may not be much. It may not be something that jumps out at you like crazy. It may just be that moment of sitting there and going, right, I've got it. And the card that's come out is you can do it. You can do it. Archangel Michael is with you here. So that's a beautiful read for this morning's What's Cracking. Um, and a great learning. Enjoy your day.